Well, let me not dwell on uh, commercial matters then. Um, only today um, the committee published your government's response to our ferries report and uh, the committee still has to consider it, uh, but it was almost a week late. I don't know whether you've seen uh, the response uh, we got from your Minister for Transport or not, but it rather cherry-picks and notes our recommendations uh, and conclusions using, I have to say, very few words uh, and says, frankly, uh, very little. So, uh, really, my question is to you, um, is this the kind of fresh start to transparency that we would expect? Uh, and uh, secondly, will you publish the findings of Barry Smith KC's investigation into whether the procurement process was rigged uh, as alleged in the BBC disclosure programme? Well, on that second uh, issue, of course, we take uh, those issues that were raised by the BBC uh, very, very seriously uh, indeed. That's why, of course, there is an investigation uh, underway. And again, I'm more than happy to look at what can be published, because I'm absolutely committed to not just being transparent, but making sure that Parliament is updated as soon as we possibly can in relation to any issues, uh, let alone the ones uh, that we are discussing in regards to Ferguson's uh, shipyard. Uh, and an example of that, of course, would be that uh, you know, when, we, when, when the request came in uh, from the accountable officer for written authority, uh, we made sure that Parliament was updated via ministerial statement, uh, the first available opportunity. So we will stand up to take scrutiny, uh, of course, on these matters. I just go back to the point that there are some uh, areas and issues in relation to Ferguson's in particular that are commercially sensitive, that if we were to release completely unredacted, for example, some reports, then there, it would put Ferguson's at a competitive disadvantage. I'm happy to look at the request that Richard Leonard uh, has made, take some advice uh, on it, uh, but I am absolutely committed to being not just upfront and transparent, but making sure that Parliament is notified as soon as we possibly can on really important developments in relation to Ferguson's.